Hello everybody, this is Ian Lamont. I'm the founder of In 30 Minutes Guides on in30minutes.com. Today I'm going to be talking about uh, editing a simple typo using Adobe Acrobat. Uh, this approach works whether you're using Adobe Acrobat for Windows or for Mac. Uh, disclaimer, what you're going to see here may look a little bit different for you depending on when you watch it or the type of soft, uh, the, the type of Adobe software you are using. Um, I'm using the paid version, by the way, and you're responsible for following any relevant terms and conditions. So let's get started here. And what I want to do is I discovered that this PDF I created, it's actually a press release, it has a typo. Um, in here it says award-winning award -winning genealogy guide for the headline, okay? That's one problem. And then this uh, number here is wrong. It says 051-0, uh, it should be 051-1. So I need to change those two things. And unfortunately, in many PDF programs that come included in, with your PC or your Mac, they're not capable of doing any editing. So for instance, I'm trying, I can highlight these, this text, but I can't delete it, I can't type over it. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna open this in Adobe Acrobat, which is a paid program, and make these edits. And uh, by the way, yes, I know that there are free uh, PDF editors out there. Um, I found that many of them have limitations and also I do in enough work for my business which is publishing that I actually think it's worth paying for Adobe Acrobat. I think I'm paying something like between $15 and $20 a month and for me it's money worth, uh, it's money well spent. So let's do this. Here is the PDF. I'm going to right click over it. Uh, this is practically the same in Windows or Mac and then you know open it with the relevant program. So I'm going to use Adobe Acrobat. So uh, Adobe Acrobat, a lot of people know this as a program that you can actually look at text, but you can also edit it too. So right now it's in the just in the viewing stage, um, but what I want to do is I want to edit it. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to click Edit PDF. This is over here on the right hand side. Uh, if you don't see this particular navigation tab, you may need to mess around with the uh, view options to show that show that uh, to make sure that it's uh, there the, the particular um, uh, the tool the toolbox. So I'm going to click Edit PDF, and what it's just done is it's kind of put all the text into boxes, okay? And I can put my cursor inside here, and first of all I can delete stuff. So let's delete that and that, and then I can start typing. I30 Media launches second edition of Genealogy Basics in 30 minutes. And also, you may be wondering, well, you know, Ian, why don't you just uh, open this up in Microsoft Word, uh, the original document, uh, or in Google Docs or something, and do the edits there, and then uh, create a new PDF? And the answer is, oftentimes, you may not have access to the original Microsoft Word document. Maybe somebody uh, mail emailed it to you and you you deleted it by accident, or for whatever reason, you don't have access to it. So Adobe Acrobat is actually pretty good for stuff like this. Uh, and then I said this number here was also wrong, so I'm going to change that to 1, okay? Uh, and then I'm going to go to File and Save. And when you close it, it actually reverts to the it reverts to the um, the view the view uh, the the viewing tool in Adobe Acrobat. So you can see here's the new here's the new um, headline there, and then also the number here got changed. Now one other thing to add: sometimes if you open up someone else's PDF you may not be able to type in the same font uh, that the document was created in. And that's actually pretty common, especially if it's some sort of a custom design job that you had commissioned by a professional designer. The, the, they, they will use a special font, maybe at your request, and when you try to open it up, even if you've purchased Adobe Acrobat or, or, or subscribing to it, uh, you don't have the pr proper font to uh, make those edits. In, th in that case, you can actually add the font to Adobe Acrobat, it's beyond the scope of this particular um, uh, video, but just for the sake of argument, let's assume that Adobe does have this particular font installed. It's a pretty, I don't even remember which font it is, but it's a pretty common one, and you can make those particular edits. For more information on how to get the most out of uh, different types of software programs, my company, In 30 Minutes, it has a whole bunch of different guides written by expert authors. Crowdfunding Basics, for instance, is written by um, as someone who's done crowdfunding many times, Genealogy Basics by Shannon Combs Bennett, a professional genealogist, and I've written a few of the software books myself. Um, if you've liked this video, please take a moment to like it or follow me on YouTube, and also you can see more of my videos and blog posts right here on in30minutes.com. Thank you so much for watching.